So we're sitting in the back of Amy's car now because it's too windy to actually film outside. One, two, one, two. Uh, we've had a lot of problems with shoots. We've had to keep redoing them. For example, we're sitting in drawers and now my girl hasn't even pitched. And the thing is, they often like, give us the run around. So our trick for the day was that we're just going to rock up at their houses, find their addresses and just bombard them because that way if they're lying, we'll find them. And that's the best way because every time <laughs> we just rock up, their face is like... And just be more assertive and rock up at people's houses and say we're gonna film you now and if people say we're not ready then we say go get changed do whatever you need to so you're able to film now especially with teenagers because they are 14 so you know they go through funny moods so you have to be quite strong and assertive what was really nice about the project is we actually got to explore the greater side of Grahamstown mm. um, and we spent a lot of time in different areas in the township we've been in Fringo, Lombo, Jorza we've been to a lot of places and it's really been interesting to actually be more involved in the community and you get a bigger sense of reward at first they were quite hostile um, but we had to do something to kind of break the ice a little bit um, so we resorted to a lot of dancing yeah <laughs> and i also think um there have been like pros and cons like uh, cons being like um i know anati doesn't have a phone so we have to like call her sister mm. so she gets here but okay. through it all i think yeah They've been more responsible. I don't know how much my girl learned. I think she had a lot of personal issues during the film anyway. Like later we found out that her mom had actually passed away a couple of weeks before before shooting. So I think that was kind of an issue that was looming over her head while we were shooting. But it was at least interesting just to see her smiling and engaging with her community. And I think a lot of the issues, while we were dealing with the issue with her, she seemed to get more comfortable with the issue. And she started realizing that there actually was a water problem. Um, yeah, with my girl, she was precious with mix it. And the thing is, I think throughout the whole process, she started realizing that there were bigger and more important things, you know, that were going on outside of her social life. And when we were filming, we asked the teacher to say, "Precious, give me your phone." But what happened was a week before that, she had been absent, and the shouting incident got a lot more personal than I thought it was going to get, and it actually was quite hectic. And then when I spoke to the teacher after, she said that Precious wasn't doing that well academically. And I think after this whole process, Precious has realized that she needs to put in a little bit more time and effort and work harder with her studies if she wants to be an actress. I did cover with gambling and I thought um, that she actually learned a lot. Um, it was quite difficult because she doesn't speak a lot. So I had to do a lot of metaf metaphorical visuals. So use like stuff like shots, gambling shots and stuff like that. But at the end, I think she was able to portray herself and make known like issues like gambling. She was able to make her voice heard within the the public sphere and she was able to portray herself well and I think because we have to Bluetooth the whole process and send out CDs people actually realize that teenagers actually think critically of issues around them and in their communities. I think as a group it is totally important to get along. Yeah, we had a song by DJ Kyo that would always pump in Amy's car when we were driving to and back from shoots and it's just good to keep the morale up in the group. It was really helpful as a group if we had something that just kept us going and kept us being happy. You don't always feel like going there and being like, hey guys, cool, but we pumped that song and I even went a little bit hyper afterwards and it was just really awesome and these two were so this great. <laughs> The project was really great because I got to learn more stuff there. So the shoot is over and, and you, you know, know what that means.